Now then, where one cell is good, two are even better. Here we have the basic setup for this year's experiment. Why two cells? Because like I demonstrated in videos earlier, I'm going to run everything through the headlight and then instead of going directly to ground, we're going to go through a number of HHO units. It might even require a third one. And this will just be the passive hookup. If I can get this mounted, I will also have the Mini-Me dry cell hooked up in here with the direct access to power, drawing a minimal amount of spare amps, while the bottled units will be hooked up with passive electricity hookup. And here we are hooked into the headlight, like I said. Here's the ground wire that I've discarded and we've replaced it with this wire which runs into the first unit. And then you will have a second wire running from unit to the other unit. And here we are, all wired in. Like I said, we have the headlight going from the ground to the hydrogen unit and then we have another hydrogen unit right here and the power has to go through the hydrogen units before they can go to ground. This is a passive hookup. This is not a direct hookup. And if I'm riding at night and the light isn't bright enough, I can simply bypass the circuit that easily give me straight to ground. But, I don't think there will be a need because the light is on, it's plenty bright. As you see, it gets just a little brighter by hooking it directly to ground. It is working. If we hook a direct current up to the battery, Well, you see it takes 16 amps for the hydrogen unit to keep running. When we switch the bike on, but not running, the bike draws four and a half amps to keep the headlight on and the systems on. But, if we bypass the ground or the headlight and make it run through just one HHO unit, you see that the amperage drops off. If we hook up two HHO units, it picks up just a little bit. Just a little bit. So now we have the headlight on, we have HHO units on, and we're only using four amps of power.
to have the engine on with the headlight working we have almost 5 amps being drawn and one HHO unit we see we are consuming nearly 20 amps of power and it's draining the battery awfully fast that is with the parallel hookup that is with the parallel hookup With the serial hookup, we see we are drawing 4 amps of power. Without the serial hookup on the HHO, just running the headlight, we see that we are running 4 and a half amps of power. So we are producing HHO and we are successfully using less amps. Since we are using less amps to since we are using less amps to create HHO, it cannot fail. You do the math. If you're losing, if you are using less amperage to create HHO, then your alternator works less hard. And if your alternator is working less hard, then your engine does not work as hard either. So you're saving gas two ways. First off, your engine is working easier. Second off, you are not producing extra power to run your HHO device.